everyone, this is Stefan, and we are live right now on the Project Life Mastery YouTube channel, as well as the Stefan James 23 Instagram. If you guys are joining in right now, post in the chat. Let me know your name, where you're joining in from. I'd love to give you guys a shout out and see who is joining in today. Um, today, I've got a message I want to share with you guys, um, something that I want you guys to be aware of, and also make sure that most importantly, that you take advantage of it. If you're someone that's looking to get started to sell on Amazon, build an Amazon business, create a certain lifestyle, freedom, quit your job, make as much money as you choose, then I want to make sure that you guys get access to this free six-part video training that is now available that you guys can get for free. It's only going to be available for a limited time, and you guys can access that by going to projectlifemastery.com slash Amazon blueprint okay projectlifemastery.com slash amazon blueprint this is a brand new training uh it's from my friends at the amazing selling machine you do not have to buy anything it's 100 percent free there's so much value in it that i want to make sure that you guys can take advantage of it learn as much as you can open up your your mindset your awareness to this and uh, help you guys get started with your business um, amazing sell machine will be open. The brand new training ESM 10, it's hundred percent brand new will be available. Uh, I think around October 9th. Um, and if you guys are interested in that, you guys can, you know, go get that as well when it becomes available. I'm an affiliate for ESM. So I'll have great bonuses that I can supply you guys with as well to help you guys build your business as well. And I can share more about that with you guys a little bit later. Links are in the description below, but I want to put that out there first and foremost for you guys. Um, and I'm here to serve you guys today. I want to answer any questions you guys have for me. And uh, I see all people joining in from all over the world. So how about we start things off with some shout outs. Uh, so right now I'm live on both Instagram and YouTube. What's up, everyone? Coming to you guys right now from Medellin, Colombia. Been traveling all over the place for the last... Uh, month or so um someone asked what is the url again it's projectlifemastery.com slash amazon blueprint the links are in the description of the video with that being said let's see who's joining in uh okay we got people uh caitlin keelan i'd love to hear where you're from sasha from ireland great um uh yuan from australia Lydia says, I got fired from my job today. Um, you know, partly uh, sorry to hear that, Lydia, but you know what? I know plenty of people that have gotten fired from their jobs. And it, right now, in this moment, it might not feel good, but sometimes, you know what? There could be a reason for that. And maybe this experience of what you're going through right now could actually motivate you, could push you to a whole new level in your life and allow you to make different decisions that can take your life to a whole new level. So look at it in a positive way, too. You never know. You know, you never know what uh, it, you know, it could lead you to. It can uh, oftentimes it's not until you hit rock bottom in life that it can really take you to a, a brand new level. So in the moment, it never feels good, but long term, I believe that moments and experience like that can really transform us if we really utilize that to serve us for the greater good. Okay, California, New York City, Ohio, Virginia, Brazil, London, Canada, Saudi Arabia, Ont Ontario, Canada, Sweden, Alabama, Wisconsin. San Antonio, Texas, Arizona, Belgium, Portugal, Denver, Manchester, UK. Awesome, guys. Texas, California, Serbia, Brazil, South Africa, Germany, Denver, Poland, Mexico, Arizona, Toronto, Mexico, Syria, Spain, Miami, Hungary. Wow, guys. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for joining in. I don't do too many live videos. I'm, I'm mostly do them inside my online business mastery accelerator and life mastery accelerator but i wanted to take a chance here to hop on with you guys to say hello i want to say thank you so so much for being a subscriber for consuming my content you know i put a lot into the content that i create for you guys because i want to serve you i want to help you achieve your goals in every aspect of life um and hopefully you guys receive a benefit uh, from it and you enjoy the content that i put out uh, we're really close to hitting 600,000 subscribers on YouTube, which I'm very excited for. Um, you know, I hit 500,000 subscribers 
maybe a few months ago, but 600K is getting us closer to that 1 million point. So I'm excited for that. That means I'm going to be doing a giveaway pretty soon as well. So I'll be putting out a YouTube video uh, announcing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away uh, an iPhone and a Kindle and an iPad and a GoPro, uh, a lot of my courses and trainings, uh, different uh, apparel from masteryapparel.com. Um, so that's my way of saying thank you for you guys supporting me, being a subscriber and uh, consuming my content. So I want to mention that as well. Now, people from all over, I see a Portugal, Algeria, South Carolina. Great, guys. So if there's any way that I can add value to you guys today, if there's any questions you might have uh, about getting started on Amazon, building your own online business, uh, creating a certain lifestyle for yourself, um, I'd love to spend a few minutes with you guys to see if I can add some value to you, answer some specific questions that you guys might have, and help you guys just move forward. That's the most important thing. You know, I find that sometimes guys, you know, consuming content on YouTube or Instagram, whatever it might be, um, it's great in the sense that you learn a lot. It brings different things to your awareness and attention. You can shift your beliefs, your mindset. There's incredible uh, benefit and value from that. But there's also, I found, people that go a little bit too far with it where they get so much consumed in this passive mode where there is consuming more and more information, but they're not doing anything with it. And I, I, I'm a big fan of information and knowledge and learning, but it doesn't have as much value if you don't apply it, right? It's only potential power. The true power is action, massive action. And so you have to be careful, I think, sometimes in just consuming content. And it gets you in this passive state and you get information overload and overwhelm and analysis paralysis, and it kind of further reinforces that passive that 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 passivity, you know, that passive state that you might be in. And so, one of my goals with the content that I produce is I want to inspire you guys to actually take action, to actually do something, to make a new decision. Because when you make new decisions in your life and you take action, that's where all change occurs. That's where the results that you guys are after. That's how you're going to get that. And so oftentimes that might be, you know, taking action from a video and actually going to buy something or start your business or research a product on Amazon or, you know, make certain phone calls or send certain emails or, you know, put a deposit on your inventory for your products or set up your website or decide on your brand name for your company, you know, or pick a product in it and run with it. You know, investing in a course or a training, that's what gets the ball rolling and gets you out of that passive state to now in a more active state, which is going to lead you down the road to results because you get momentum. Once you start taking action, guys, you get momentum and it builds off that and it becomes fun and enjoyable. And when you start seeing results, it, it reinforces the actions that you're taking and you get even more motivated to continue taking action with that. And of course, you get more results from that too, which further reinforces it. So it's a cycle that you get into um, and that's where the results are gonna come. So it's my little spiel. So let me uh, stop talking about, you know, ranting about this. Let's dive into some questions that you guys have. Okay, uh, so someone here said on Instagram, does it make sense to quit your job and start your business? Um, I don't think you should just randomly quit your job and start a business. <laughs> You have to be strategic about starting a business. you got to understand that a business is not going to immediately provide an income for you. Okay, Business is not a get-rich-quick. It takes time to build a business. It, it takes an investment of time, money, effort, massive action. And when you're first building a business, you're not going to see the results right away. You're going to be putting an effort into something that you know, you're going to come back in a, a few days or a week, and you're not going to see any money that will flow in from that. But it's the actions that you're taking and what you're putting into it that leads to the potential money that you're going to be able to earn from it. So I always use the analogy of planting seeds into the soil, that every action that you take towards building your business, you're planting seeds. And at first, they're not going to sprout right away, but as long as you're consistent with watering it, nurturing it, taking good care of it, then they eventually will sprout and they grow, and that's what will provide the results for you. So, you know, uh, I believe that having a job is a benefit to help support you as you're building your business because to build your business, it's, you could have all the time that you want, but you're going to be limited by that, okay? Even if you could work 16 hours a day because you need cash flow that can help you accelerate the process of building your business. Building a business is not free. It's not free. It's going to require an investment of money. 
It's going to require an investment in money in education and training and knowledge, but also product inventory, graphic designers, product packaging, labeling of the product, marketing expenses. There's expenses involved in this. And so what majority of people do is they build their business on the side while they're working at their job. They, help, they use their job to help support the growth of their business because from your job, hopefully it's providing some good cash flow for you. Uh, if it's not providing enough for you where you're just living paycheck to paycheck, then you need to change that, guys. You have to make sure that you lower your expenses, your lifestyle expenses, so that you have a positive cash flow that you can then invest into your business, okay? Or the other option is you get a better paying job or a second job on the side, or you become resourceful, you sell stuff you don't need, you sell your TV, which is known as the income reducing machine because every minute you're spending watching TV, especially when you're broke, you're missing out on potential money that you'd be making by dedicating that time to income generating activities that can bring you more cash flow. You gotta be strategic about that, guys, and, and use your job to help support your business. Once your business is making enough to uh, uh, basically pay for your lifestyle expenses, and it's been that way for maybe a few months, then you can quit your job and then work on it and focus on, on it full time. So hopefully that makes sense, but you gotta be strategic about it, guys. The only other exception I'd recommend if you were to do that would be if you uh, had a, a certain amount of money saved Okay, like when I quit my job when I was 21 years old, I, I prepared for it for months. Okay, for months and months and months. I said January 1st, that's when I'm gonna quit my job. I I decided how much money I'm gonna need to save up, put it in the bank, um, you know, a few months of, of uh, a savings worth to pay for my lifestyle. And I was living with roommates at the time. I got rid of my car, I took the bus, I was willing to make sacrifices, and then when I quit my job. I just went all into my business and I used the savings to support me for a few months before my business could then provide for me. But I also knew that I always had backups. I could always work construction work if I needed to make some extra money. You know, I already had different ways that I knew that if I needed the money, I could be resourceful and I can find the way to come up with it. Great question. Let's move on. <clears throat> uh, okay, someone says, so can we make about 100K to $1 million using Amazon FBA? Well. I'll tell you this. Think about this for a sec, guys. If there's other people out there that are making $100,000, $1 million, $10 million, or more on Amazon FBA, then you can too. So are there people out there doing that? Of course. There's, there's you know thousands and thousands of brands and businesses, millions of products being sold on Amazon, You know many that are making a significant amount of money. So if they're doing it, you can too. Okay, I want you guys to write this down. If someone else is getting results, I too can get that result if I learn and I model and I commit myself. Okay, write that down, guys, and make sure you always remember that. What one man can do or woman, another man or woman can do. All you have to do is learn. Model people that are already successful. Learn as much as you can from them. Model their strategy. Model their mindset, their belief systems, their behaviors. And you start implementing that as well, you can get similar results to anybody. It's no different than someone that's in great shape, someone that has a great relationship, someone that has amazing results with anything. You learn from them. You've got to shift the belief, though, that it's possible. And everything, you know, guys, is possible um, as long as you believe. Whatever you think, you think you can, you think you can't, you're right. Whatever it is that you decide to believe is true for you. Okay, let's move on to another question. <clears throat> if you were to start start over, what business would you start first? I, For me, I would do what I'm doing now, which is what I'm passionate about. Because the thing is, you have to know why you're starting a business. What are you doing this all for? What's your goal? You know, Is your goal just to make money? Is your goal to create a certain level of freedom? Is your goal to, to impact people and, and you know, touch people's lives? What is your goal? What is your purpose for starting your business? And for me, I'm a very purpose-driven person. For me, I, I know what my mission is. I know what my calling is. I know what my passion is. And so Project Life Mastery is my mission. It's my purpose. It's, it's my calling in life. It's what fulfills me. I've made millions of dollars you know, you know, in my lifetime. I became a millionaire at 27 or 28 years old. 
And as great as that is, that doesn't fulfill me. Money is not going to really make you happy or fulfill you deep down inside. It's doing what you love. I believe that business is a vehicle that can allow you to pursue and live your passions, your calling, your mission. So for me, it's you know what I'm doing now. I wouldn't change it. If I were to start all over again, I'd be doing what I do, especially because now I have the belief and the certainty of already now gone down this path and knowing this about myself. Now, not everyone's going to be like me, you know, to do what I do. It's not, it's not for everybody. You know, it requires putting yourself out there, a level of extreme intensity and obsession with wanting to help and serve people. A lot of people are in a stage of life where they just want to make money. You know, they just want to have a passive income stream. They want to be able to quit their job and, you know, they want to do it more behind the scenes, in which case an Amazon is a great opportunity to do that. Um, I definitely would start an Amazon business though, because Amazon is growing massively. In fact, what were the stats that I sent out an email today, guys? You're not on my email list. You should be. If you go to prodlifemastery.com slash FBA, FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. Let me pull up what uh, the stats is on the email that I sent to you guys. It's going to wait for it to load. But uh, just the potential of Amazon and just the online retail market in general, how big it is. Um, but if you're on my list, I can send you guys more information and details about building an Amazon business, different trainings and resources as well. Okay. So where is it? Okay. So in 2017, guys, the online retail market was 2.3 trillion with a T in sales worldwide. Okay, 2.3 trillion, which is a number that most of us can't really you know, comprehend because it's such a big number. But here's what's amazing. It's projected that in the next four years, guys, that uh, uh, next four years by 2021, the online retail market is going to hit $4.5 trillion. Okay, 4.5. That's double in size in four years. So let me ask you this. Do you want to be a part of that? Do you want to be a part of that growth in the online retail market on Amazon, which is the biggest online retail giant? You'd be crazy or stupid or a fool to not want to be a part of that. Okay, I would start now today so you can benefit from the growth for years to come. The earlier that you start, the better, the more that you get to take advantage from it. You know, they say the best time to have um, planted a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today, right now. Um, I interviewed someone recently, it's gonna be an interview on the YouTube channel uh, in the next two weeks or so. Uh, the person I was interviewing, he had a friend that started selling on Amazon in like 1998, right? 1998, and he said back then, guys, it was so much harder. Back then, you know, most people, you know, it, like, it was so disorganized, um, and they hadn't really hit the, that that level of growth that they've hit now in the last few years. And we're really just at the beginning of that, guys. We're really at the beginning of massive growth uh, on Amazon. And I don't know. For me, I'm just take advantage of it. Take advantage of the opportunities that are available, and uh, your future self often thanks you for it. Okay, let's dive into another question. Okay, someone here says, how do you step into the personal development field when you don't have much success with any other business but are very passionate about uh, personal development and helping others? Great question. So here's the thing, guys. I don't ever view myself as an expert. I'm just a guy. I'm just like you guys. I've just been at this longer than you. And when I started Project Life Mastery, the approach and the mindset that I took and I still take is I'm just someone that's on this journey, this project of life mastery. And I think the best way to start is just to share your journey, share what you're learning. You know, for me, the, my whole mindset and approach with this guy is, is I love to learn. I love to grow every aspect of my life. And anything that I learn or I discover that benefits me in my life, changes my life for the better, I'm passionate about, guys. I'm passionate about that because of the impact it's made in my life. And if it's made an impact in my life, then I know that it can also make an impact in other people's lives as well. And so I feel that it's my duty, it's my responsibility to share that with other people, not to keep it to myself and just benefit from myself. I actually believe that by sharing it, it actually more comes back to me. You know, more comes back to me by sharing it, but also when I share it, I integrate it more into myself as well. 
Because one of the best ways to really integrate something in yourself is when you teach it and you have to become so good at that or understand it or master it that when you teach it to other people, it allows you to better integrate it into yourself as well. So that would be the approach that I would take is share your journey. You know, back in 2012, uh, when I started Project Life Mastery, I decided I'm going to commit to this fitness competition called the WBFF. And I wasn't a fit guy. But I said, you know, I'm going to commit to it and I'm going to share my journey. And I was able to inspire a lot of people along the journey in the process of that. So um, that's kind of the approach that I, I tend to take with it. Okay, let's dive into another question, guys. <clears throat> uh, how would you propose finding a mentor? Well, there's mentors online. Uh, there's mentors in books. There's mentors all around you that are available for free or fairly inexpensively. Um, that's a, an incredible benefit that we have because of the internet. Um, if you are looking for a one-on-one -on -one mentor, then you have to pay for it. Okay, all the mentors, all the coaches that I've had in my life, I've paid for, and I've had many, many, many coaches and mentors over many, many years. So you find them through online. There's a lot of coaches and mentors available more than ever before. Ideally, someone that you follow, someone that you trust, someone that you resonate with their message. Um, you can uh, also, you know, there's websites out there for different coaches and mentors that you can find as well. Uh, I enjoy going to a lot of events, seminars, which and masterminds, which I also have to pay for. And then I like to, you know, hire the coaches or the mentors that are there as well. It's not cheap, but that's an incredible way to learn. Now, for a lot of people, they don't necessarily need a mentor, especially for like an Amazon business. Like if you were to hire me for a mentor and it's fifteen dollars fifteen hundred dollars an hour for my time and I don't mentor many people, if even if you're brand new and you you came to me and said, Stefan, I want to pay you this amount of money for you to be my mentor, I would say, listen, if you're brand new, save your money, okay, save your money, don't spend it on me. I'd much rather instead you go through the basics, go through this course, go through the amazing selling machine, okay? Learn the basics first, build a foundation, and then once you're at a certain level, then come to me or a mentor that can then help you because if you were to pay me, I'm just gonna tell you what's already in a course, the basics of it, which you can learn much more inexpensively at a, a fraction of the cost uh, of you hiring me. So, uh, you know, there's no point hiring me or a mentor for so, in something like that until you're in a position where they can really help you scale things up and grow things. Now, sometimes coaches are great to help you overcome your blind spots, the limiting beliefs that you have, um, the stories that you're telling yourself, things that are holding you back. So I believe in, in life coaches can be great for that to help you pinpoint that and break, break through those barriers you might have. And there's plenty of them out there you can find. You've got to be resourceful and commit enough to find them. Okay, let's dive into another question. Do you have to have an LLC or a corporation to sell on Amazon? No. You can sell on Amazon under your own name. You can go to Amazon Seller Central, sign up on your first and last name, put in your address. You can uh, link your personal bank account. And you can sell on Amazon just as a sole proprietor. You receive the money direct into your bank account. At the end of the year when you file your tax return, you just file, fi uh, file it and pay taxes on it as self-employment income. Um, an LLC corporation has many different benefits. Um, oftentimes, once you're making money, of course, the number one goal is to make money. I think a lot of people, they worry too much about things that are so much further ahead than where they're starting from when the number one goal is just to make money. Like you don't really need to worry that much about taxes until you're making money, right? Because if you're not making money, you're not paying anything to taxes. So, you know, just make sure that, uh, you know, I believe in this mindset, guys. A lot of people, they are so held back starting because their thinking is ready, aim, fire. If that's your thinking, we're going to take forever to start because you're going to be waiting to aim and waiting for everything to be perfect for you to begin. I believe in this instead. Ready. Fire and then aim. Okay, so just take action, learn as you go. You can always adjust and make tweaks and you know make sure you're on track as you go. You know, but I always use this analogy as well, guys, that if you have two people that are starting a race and one person is waiting for everything to be perfect for them to start, they're gonna be at that start line forever. Versus the other person, they say, but who gives a shit? I'm just gonna go for it. And they're taking action, they're making mistakes, they're falling down. They pick themselves up and they just keep going. 
The person that just begins is the person that will be always further ahead than the person that's still at the start line waiting for everything to be perfect. So make sure you don't fall into that trap. You know, always remember ready, fire, aim. Okay. Okay, let's move on to another question. Uh, okay, Whitney says the amazing sell machine has a list of products. I work, I pick one of those. There won't be room for me getting in this light. Do you think I should find something new or trust that list? Uh, well, Whitney, it doesn't matter if a million other people have access to the same products and are selling the same products, okay? Don't worry too much about competition because what really matters at the end of the day is you and how you market and sell the product. I want you guys to know this and I want you guys to write this down. You make your product successful, okay? You make it work. Your product succeeds because of you, okay? You're, you are the determining factor of it, okay? It, it's not the competition. It's not all that sort of stuff. It's you. That if you hustle, you pick a product, regardless of how much competition, guys. I could sell this, I could sell this wrench right here, and even though it might be so competitive, I can guarantee I can succeed at this. Because I'm going to hustle, I'm going to build a brand around it, I'm going to you know, create an amazing listing, provide more value than everyone else, and I can make this succeed. I can make almost any product succeed, but it comes down to the mindset, the confidence, and the belief that you have in first and foremost yourself, but also in the product that you choose. You've got to believe in the product that you're going to sell. You have to have confidence and certainty in it. It should be a product that you can share with your friends and family, and when you believe in something so much, you're going to be the biggest ambassador for that product. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. I mean, every product out there that um, you know, you know, that's out there, um, there's going to be competition for it. And if there's not yet, there will be soon. You know, I'm not sure if you watched that video that I just put out uh, a few days ago on why you can't find a product to sell. If you haven't, make sure that you watch it. But it comes down to the mindset that you have with the products that you sell, the brand that you build around it. That's really what's going to make the biggest difference. Building a relationship with people. That's the most important thing. Okay, let's move on to another question. Uh, someone says, how do I get good product pictures? Do I have to send the product to a photographer? How do I know whether your product can be improved or stand out from others? Fantastic question. So great product photos uh, can be done through a photographer. Okay, You can either take the pictures yourself, find a photographer that can take the photos for you. Um, there's also renderings that can get done with a graphic designer. That's commonly used for um, supplements, but pretty much any product, you can get a, a designer to create product rendering, uh, rendered photos of that. Um, but also, you know, doing photo shoots. You know, Tatiana and I just did a photo shoot on the weekend. Tatiana's got a, a brand new underwear line that's coming out, and we're here in Me uh, Medellin, Colombia, and she hired a photographer. She hired three models. She booked a hotel room, booked a makeup artist, and got product photos. And those are the things you got to do that are going to make you stand out. Those are the things that are going to determine how well your product does, is being willing to do the things that are necessary to build your business and sell and promote your product on social media or whatever it might be. Um, so you can get you know uh, great quality product photos just by hiring photographers usually or a great graphics designer. And how do you know whether it can be improved to stand out from others? Well, first and foremost, whatever product you're selling, look at the competing products Look at the negative reviews on Amazon. That's going to give you a lot of different ideas of how you can improve the product, how you can make it better, because that's going to tell you what existing customers uh, of your competitors are unhappy with. Okay, That's number one. Number two, uh, when you start selling your product, here's a tip that I give a lot of my, my students and mentees. Your first 50 sales that you get, okay, whether you just turn on Amazon ads or Facebook ads or whatever it might be, the first 50 sales, I want you to call them on the phone. Call them on the phone. And I want you to call them and say, hi, this is uh, you know, Stephen James, and you recently bought our product from Amazon. I want to say thank you so much for it. And I just wanted to follow up with you to make sure that first and foremost that you received the product. Did you receive it? Are you enjoying the product? Are you benefiting from it? They're either going to say, yes, it's great. Thank you. Or they're going to say, you know what, I'm not that happy about this or that. In which case, 
great opportunity for you to get feedback on what you could then use to improve the product. Then you could say to them, listen, I want to say thank you so much. Um, you know, if you have a few minutes, I'd love to, you know, ask you a few questions about how to make the product better, how I can serve you, how I can, you know, get a better uh, experience for you. Do you have any feedback? Is there something, you know, more that you're looking for in, in the product that you bought? Right? You ask and you actually have a conversation with them. You learn about your market. You learn about the customer so that you can better tailor and improve your product, but also your brand so that you can better meet their needs and better serve them. Okay? That's something that I think everybody should do, especially when you're beginning, is to engage with people. Exactly what I'm doing right now, guys. I'm engaging with you guys. Now, it's very easy to do this when you're first starting. It's almost a benefit you have when you, when you first start. You know, for me, when I was first building on my brand on YouTube and my blog and all this sort of stuff on social media, I was engaging with everybody. But now my brand has built so much that it's impossible for me to engage with everyone at the level that I did when I first started. So when you're brand new, you have an advantage. You have more time than someone like I have so that you can focus on engaging with people and building those relationships a little bit more. So take advantage of that, guys, and really connect with them and make it Try to find ways you can create raving fans. When you create a raving fan customer experience, they're going to continue to buy from you again and again and again, regardless of competition out there, right? Because people, they do not buy products and services. They do not. They buy feelings and they buy identities, right? They buy what they associate to your brand and your product. Why does someone buy the iPhone when there might be better phones out there? Why does, you know, why did someone buy the iPod? when Steve Jobs first came out with that, when there was better MP3 players out there on the market. It was because of the feeling and identity that people associated to the product, and that's often accomplished through marketing and branding, which is much more important than the actual product that you're selling. Okay, That's why, again, guys, you have to learn marketing. You have to go through trainings and courses to actually learn this stuff so that you can succeed because – the biggest misconception that people have is I'm just selling a product on Amazon, and you're not. You're building a brand. You're building an actual business, and that's going to require you to build relationships with people and, and learning how to really build a brand online. Okay, let's move on to another question. I'll take a few more, guys. I want to mention again, uh, if you guys want to learn how to get started, there's a free six-part video series that's brand new. It's the newest training out there, and it's free, and it's, a, it's actually called the Brand Builder Series. And uh, you guys can access that by going to projectlifemastery.com slash Amazon Blueprint. There's a link below in the description here of the YouTube video. Um, head on over there, guys. Get it. It's only going to be available, I think, till October uh, October 10th. Okay? So make sure that you get it while you can. So much value in there to help you guys learn this business, learn how to build a brand, learn how to pick a product, learn how to source your products from China or anywhere in the world. Um, you know, that's going to give you a great start, you know, so make sure if you want to get started, take advantage of that. Okay, let's move on to another question. Uh, okay. If someone doesn't have a lot of followers on social media, can they still, still succeed at Amazon FBA or is that necessary to promote a product that you're selling? Uh, well, most people when they're starting, they have no followers on social media. They're starting from scratch, brand new. You know, everybody started from zero, including myself, right? That's something you want to build simultaneously, okay? Of course, you, you know, if you're building a brand, you want it to have a brand presence online. The people Google it or search it, they want to learn more about you. You want, it, you want to be everywhere. You want to be on Instagram and Facebook and have a, a blog or a website and build, again, a relationship with people. So that's something that you build. As, you, as you're building up your brand and selling your products, um, you know, if you have that, great, but definitely not required. But here's a, a, a powerful strategy and tip that a lot of the biggest brands utilize, and again, something that I teach my students, is to find other influencers and people out there that have a following on Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is, and collaborate with them. You can do influencer marketing where you send them your product for free, and they'll promote your product. They'll list it to their their followers to their fans, they've already built a relationship with them, the trust of them, and they can therefore promote and sell your product. Now, depending on how big the brand is, how big the Instagram is or whatever, in some cases you have to pay for it, but in a lot of cases, they're just happy to receive a free product and promote and share your product with their audience. 
that's one of the best ways because now you're using leverage. Okay, guys, you always have to work smarter, not harder. You have to use leverage wherever you can because that's what allows you to accelerate your success and to make a quantum leap. Okay, so always leverage as much as you can. Okay, let's move on. I'll take a few more questions before we wrap it up. Uh, I am in the UK. Is it better to start in the UK or the revenue much lower than the US? Uh, UK is a great market. UK is the second biggest market. You have the benefit of also being able to sell in other parts of Europe uh, as well, just from one fulfillment center in the UK. So yeah, start from the UK if you live in the UK. Um, that's the one thing that's cool about the amazing selling machine that they've always improved and made their program and training better and better because now they help people based on where you live. They have specific steps. If you live in Europe, then they're going to recommend for you oftentimes to start selling in Europe first versus selling in the U.S. first. There's also opportunities in Australia right now. There's opportunities in India, which is growing uh, pretty big. You know, Amazon is taking over the world. So internationally, there's a lot of opportunity for everybody. But regardless of where you live, you can start selling in the U.S., which is the biggest market that for most people makes the most sense for. Uh, I've never lived in the U.S. and I sell in the U.S. and most people do. So U.S. is a great place to start as well. And someone said, what about starting in Spain? Yeah, you could start selling in Spain too. Again, it depends on the research that you do. So you keep that in mind when you do your product research. You use something like Jungle Scout, which can help you, or you go through the ASM training, help you identify, okay, if I'm going to sell this product in the Spanish Amazon market in Spain, what's the potential? What's you know How much is selling per day of that product? And does it make sense if I were to launch it in this market, how well can I do with it? So you always have to do the research to know the potential of each market that you decide to, to, to promote. Okay, um, and I'll take one more question. Let me see here, guys. Sorry, on Instagram, it's kind of dimmed my screen. Okay, sorry. Uh, Instagram better than YouTube to start marketing as a beginner. Depends on your product. Uh, I, you know, there's certain products that can do really well on Instagram, others that can do more better on YouTube. For me, I love YouTube. You know, uh, YouTube, I think, is the most powerful way of marketing online because the, the level of connection and trust that we can build together that, you know, it, you know, Instagram is a little bit more shallow, right? People are just looking at a picture, a minute clip, a story. But on YouTube, there's a, there's a deep level of connection that can be established between two people. Um, I can add way more value to you on YouTube than I ever could on Instagram. But it does depend on the market that you're in. It does depend on the niche, the product that you're selling. Every product is going to have a different marketing strategy, a marketing plan, and you've got to know what that is. One of the best things you can do is look at your competitors, learn from them, study from them, and backwards engineer what they're doing that's making them successful. You know, that's one thing that Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, was amazing at doing. He wrote a great book that everybody should read called Made in America. And Sam Walton, he was known for spending more time in his competitor's stores than his own stores. You know, he got arrested when he was in Brazil one time. He was an older man. He's, uh, you know, on the, in the grocery store, and he's on the floor on his hands and knees. They didn't know who he was. They arrested him, took him to jail, and afterwards they said, Sam, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing on the, hand, you know, on the floor of this store? And he said, well, I was measuring the distance between the aisles because I wanted to see if they knew something that I didn't know because he's always looking and learning from others that he could then use to then implement to build Walmart into a better, more successful business. So you always have to, 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 you know, there's so much transparency online that you can rever reverse engineer what's successful and what your competitors are doing, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube, so that you can get a similar result as them, and if not better, if you focus on doing a better job than them. Uh, do you have to market on social media at all? I prefer YouTube, but also my channel isn't about what I'd want to sell on Amazon. You don't, you don't have to, but... Why wouldn't you? You know, if there's platforms that are available for you to for free that have access to millions of people and your market, your customers are there, you know, you have to go where your customers are, even if it's inconvenient for you. Because building a business is not all about you. If you're only in this for yourself, then don't start. 
A business, uh, uh, the definition of an entrepreneur is someone that solves other people's problems at a profit. Someone that's focused on meeting other people's needs and in doing so, your needs get met simultaneously. That's the only way that you build a raving fan customer. A raving fan customer is someone that comes back again and again and again. You have a lifetime value of that person because they love you and they care about you. You love and care about them and they're going to continue to buy from you. Right? If you're just after satisfied customers, satisfied customers are going to shop elsewhere. Satisfied customers are going to buy from someone else based on the price or whatever it might be. And You can do well with that, but if you want an ultimate competitive advantage, it's going to require you to have a higher standard and to focus on adding more value than other people because the only way you make money in exchange is through adding value. Okay, That's the different mindset you have to shift from going from an employee – to an entrepreneur. Oftentimes, a lot of employees, they can be in the mindset of just trying to take value from their employer, right? They're looking at, okay, I just want to get paid at X amounts, 40 hours a week, I'll put in, and I expect to be paid a certain amount from that. And they're not really putting in all that they can for it to help serve the company or serve the customer. They're just looking at it, what's best, you know, what's best for them. But an entrepreneur, you don't get paid based on your time. You don't get paid based on just showing up. You only get paid for the value that you provide for other people, how you serve them, and therefore there's an exchange of value. You're providing a great product or service that can help them, and they're providing money back in exchange for that, and that's that's a fair transaction. I believe in doing more than what people pay for, and if you can do more than what people pay for, you'll get rewarded even more for that because that's how you build that Raven fan customer. So that's the mindset, guys. The mindset – it is to do more for others, to add value. That's the beautiful thing about business. It forces you to become more of a spiritual person, right? It's a spiritual game because the only way to succeed is you must grow, you must learn, you must master certain things in business and marketing to succeed, which requires you to constantly work on and improve yourself because we all have obstacles and barriers and limiting beliefs and fears and doubts that we must overcome and we must add value. And those are the two top most spiritual needs out there is growth and contribution. And in doing so, you get rewarded for it. The more that you grow, the more that you add value, the more that you make. Because your income is often seldom uh, – your income seldom exceeds your level of personal development, right? So you always have to be working and growing and improving yourself. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I know there's many, many more questions that you guys have. I'd love to answer them all for you. Uh, I'll probably do this again in the next few weeks. Um, if, if you guys are looking for more kind of, you know, Q&A like this where I can serve you, the places that I do that every month is inside my Life Mastery Accelerator and the Online Business Mastery Accelerator. Okay, you guys can learn more about that at projectlifemastery.com and that's where I focus on doing my, my live monthly mentoring where I focus on helping a group of people to help succeed more in their lives. Um, so otherwise... You know, I might be around again on YouTube in the next few weeks to do another uh, video like this. Um, I've got many more great videos coming to you guys here on YouTube. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you guys turn on your notifications to make sure that you get notified of future videos that come uh, for you guys to benefit from. And then, um, yeah, and then if you guys, again, take advantage of that free training that's available to get started on Amazon. Um, again, it's a free six-part video training. Uh, it's only going to be available, I think, till October 10th. Um, just go to projectlifemastery.com slash Amazon Blueprints. The link is in the description. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining in. We'll be doing a giveaway soon. Uh, once we hit 600,000 subscribers, it's another way to love you guys and thank you for your support. Um, but guys, keep committing to mastery. Keep believing yourself. Keep learning. But most importantly, take action. Do something after watching this video, don't just sit there and just go on to the next video, the next video, the next video. Do something that will actually improve your life. Do something that will actually allow you to make progress and make a shift in your life. That could be joining the, the Amazon uh, blueprint that I shared with you guys. But whatever it is, guys, I want to see you guys make progress. I don't want to see you guys stay stagnant in your life and stay the same. And that's going to require you to get outside your comfort zone, do things you're not normally doing, and uh, to step up in your lives and – Take the actions necessary to create the life that you love. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you again soon.